Hello everyone, my name is Tammy L. Brothers and this video is my final week 8 leadership reflection video speech for the Department of Psychology at Regent University for the 2023 Genie 402 Making of the Christian Leader with Professor Stuart Manfield. Everyone is a leader, according to Kuzner, Kuznets and Posner. Kuznets and Posner tell us in their book, Everyday People, Extraordinary Leadership, How to Make a Difference Regardless of Our Title, Role, or Authority. It is our choice as to whether we are a good leader or a great leader. The difference between a good leader and a great leader is that a great leader continues learning and practicing what they learn all the way through their life. Kuzner and Posner say you can't get any better at leadership without practice. It doesn't matter your age or what you do, you're a leader to someone. The children in the classes that I've taught for over the 45 years have heard this many, many times. Even with my grandchildren, I tell them that they can teach and lead through trusting relationships and that they can learn from any everyone. The oldest can teach the youngest from all of the other ones and vice versa. Imagine the reaction when a few years ago I was on a grandma date night with my kid, grandkids and I told all five of my grandbabies that were between the ages of two and seven at the time that they could learn from each other and maybe they could learn the most from the two-year-old. The volume in the house got really loud with laughter and comments for some time to say the least and it was a very memorable evening for all of us. They have all now turned into teenagers but they learned something that night that they can always learn they can always lead they can always teach they can always help someone no matter how old they are how much they know or what they're doing or where they're at the definition I gave in our initial classmate self-introduction post of leadership was Christian leadership to me is leading the way Christ did serving training discipling those around me who do even greater work than I do. I am fortunate to be able to talk about Christ at work, but I try to let Christ shine through me so that others see a difference in me without me ever having to say a word or anything. My life motto has always been, your actions speak so loudly, I cannot hear what you are saying. I desire to be the leader to others that produces more good leaders by living the example. It's an important to me when because when people need someone they can trust they know that they can come to me for help from our textbook everyday people extraordinary leadership how to make a difference regardless of your life of your title role or authority by Kuznets and Posner from the leadership interview I conducted with Luann Campbell and from Professor Matt Field from other course materials and from my classmates through our discussion posts, I realized that you never stop learning and practicing leadership. Kuznets and Posner say, being an exemplary leader requires a lifelong daily commitment of learning. Luann said it in our interview and she also demonstrated it by taking a picture of the book so that she would be sure to order the right one to read and learn. Professor Matfield has reiterated throughout the course that leadership is lifelong study. I've always heard readers are leaders, but being a great leader goes far beyond that. And that's something I've learned from this course. It is purposefully reading, studying, learning, and practicing leadership. Study and be eager to do your utmost to present yourself to God approved, tested, by a trial, a workman who has no cause to be ashamed, correctly analyzing and accurately dividing, rightly handling and skillfully teaching the word of truth. That's from the Amplified Bible in 2 Timothy 2.15. John Maxwell states, it's not the position that makes the leader, it's the leader that makes the position. When we take a minute to think about the leaders that immediately come to mind when we, the word leader is said, at first glance, it may seem that they were born leaders. They just have that in their DNA. However, when you actually talk to them and find out more about their lives, it has been a lifelong process of learning, practicing, trial and error. The great ones admit they are not perfect. 
They make mistakes regularly and humbly follow other great leaders. In my mind, Kuznets and Posner's leadership operating system that they call the five practices of exemplary leadership, which include model the way, inspire shared vision, challenge the process, enable others to act, and encourage the heart, reflect the way that Je Jesus led. Model the way was how Jesus led and is the way that I want to lead, as I stated in my initial definition of leadership. I said in that part, my life motto was your ac actions speak so loudly I cannot hear what you are saying. That is definitely modeling the way. The results of the Christian Character Index reveal that I am on my way to becoming the leader I have divined. Faithfulness was my highest score at 90%. When interpreting the scores, faithfulness is consistent with pursuit of God's will for your life, doing things God's way rather than your own way. Love, joy, patience, kindness, and forgiveness all followed immediately and closely behind. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And there is no law against these things, according to Galatians 5, 22 and 23. That is something that I pray for daily. I can learn from all of the five practices of exemplary leadership by reviewing them periodically, referring to them when different leadership situations arise, and continuing to study and practice them throughout my life. I will keep this book at my fingertips for a reference. It's right here. In conclusion, the main things that I have learned from the class through this resources, professor, classmates, and assignments are leadership is a lifelong process of continual studying, learning, and practicing. Christ was the ultimate leader, and he led by modeling the way and be a leader that you want others to be. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. That is from Psalm 32, 8. Everyone is a leader. Study, learn, and practice, and you will be a great leader as well.